Yo. Welcome to another Synfig tutorial. Today we will be taking a look at the bone link converter. Now to do this we'll need an object so let me go ahead and add a star to the scene and we'll also need a bone so I'm going to go to layer, new layer, other and click on skeleton. Here we have our two objects here. Now what we need to do is right click the object's origin point here, click on convert and click on bone link. Now what this does, it adds some sub-parameters to the object's properties here. So if I um, collapse this here, we can see its sub-parameters and the one that we'll be focusing on is the bone. So if we look here, we see no parent. If we click, left click here, we can see some bones. Now the reason why you see two bones here is because I previously had, I had a previous bone before and then I deleted it. So what we need to do is choose the bone um, that we want to parent to the, the object here. Um, now, I'm just gonna click on this so I can know the bone's name. So we know that the name of this bone is bone two. So I'm gonna come back here and I'm going to choose bone two here. And we can see that it is now parented to the bone. And we can move the object, of course, right? Now you might be wondering, this seems very familiar. Well, it actually is. So this is just another way to parent your objects to bones. Um, now, when we usually parent objects to bones, we usually select the, the point on the object and then right click on the, the point on the bone and click on link to bone. Now, what we, we don't usually do is go into the object's properties and see what takes place there, right? But it's exactly the same thing that happens when we parent it the other way. So let's go, let's actually go ahead and take a look at that, shall we? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove these two objects and go ahead and recreate them like so. And let's um, parent them the way that we know how. Left click on the origin point for the object here and hold on control and left click on the skeleton there and right click the bone and click on link to bone. Now, if we look in the properties of the object here, we can see that exactly the same parameters are presented here. It's the same thing that we've always done, but now we know how to do it using the bone link converter. So that's it for this tutorial, and I will see you in the next one. Yo, Kimari. Yo, Kimari.